coil over plug, current ramp testing using the U-scope. So we're going to use the inductive amp clamp to pick up on this coil primary here. I've pulled the harness back just a little bit so I can pull that amperage, that power feed wire, out of that harness. So that's that green wire. That's my power feed circuit to my coil, and I can pick my amperage up off of that. And then we're just going to come over here, and we'll clamp this amp clamp right around that coil wire, just like that. And then if the pattern happens to be upside down for some reason, I can flip it over, and you just have to make sure that that clamp gets completely clamped when you use this tool. Let's set this up for primary ignition, coil over plug. I want to measure my amperage going into my coil. I do have a preset, but there are some unusual things that take place with these presets. So the amperage preset is acting kind of funny, so there's a little glitch, but let's come on over and go to my presets and then go down to my user setup. And I did just create a new preset, it's number 64. 465, let's see which one we have here. Let's go to 64 and press and hold OK. And there it is right there. And I want to show you something. Every time I do an amperage preset where I'm using this 100 to 1, it comes up with a 10 amps over here, but yet this is a 2 amp per division scale. So we do need to come back over to here and change this back down to 2 amps before we get started. And now we can go ahead and start the car. So once again, our reference file is right on top of our pattern. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that reference file off. And I have it on 10 milliseconds per division here because it tends to jump around a lot. If I go to a smaller time frame, it doesn't get as stable. Now right there, it looks like it's stabling out pretty well. If I go down to 2 milliseconds, and this is actually quite stable compared to earlier where I was working, and that's looking really good. I can't go to one millisecond, but earlier when I tested it, I was at two milliseconds, and it didn't stabilize out. So that looks really good. I really like that pattern. It's now starting to jump as the RPMs go down. So I believe that has to do with the speed of the engine. As the speed of the engine gets slower, it becomes less stable. So we're going to go ahead and move that back up to 10 milliseconds per division. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and push the A button. So we push it on hold. And now if I do want to look at that amperage at a spread it out by changing my time, now I can look at that current ramping on that coil. And I did put my pulse width time. So that is running at 1.68 milliseconds. Because of the 100 to 1 multiplier and the selection on the amp clamp, the scale range is actually minus 0.2 to 1.4.